everyone, in this video we're checking out the Mako Series R1 Reverb from Walrus Audio. The R1 is a multi-function stereo reverb with six programs. Those programs are Spring, Hall, Plate, BFR, Refract, and Air. On top are controls for decay and mix, as well as swell, which applies a volume envelope to the wet and dry signal, creating a volume swell. The higher this is set, the longer the swell takes to fade in. The tweak knob controls three different parameters depending on how the tweak switch is set. This allows for control of the modulation rate and depth and the pre-delay. The tune knob and switch work in a similar fashion, allowing for control of the reverb's low and high frequencies. When set to the X position, the tune knob's function changes depending on the program. The right foot switch allows for the reverb to be sustained momentarily while held down or latched onto by pressing once and then again to release. Another cool feature of the R1 is being able to control the stereo width of the reverb. To do this, set the tune switch to the X position, then hold down the bypass switch and once the LED starts flashing, turn the X knob to change the width of the stereo image. All the way down is a narrow spread, noon is stereo, and above noon is enhanced stereo. Like the other Mako series pedals, the R1 is stereo in and out, has onboard presets, and is MIDI controllable. The pedal also has a USB port for future firmware updates. So there is a quick overview of the R1. Let's get into some sounds, starting with the spring program.
Thank mm-hmm. you.